So I got this question today in lecture regarding uh, dynamic blocks and how to scale things uniformly. So I've got just some basic geometry here and this is going to end up being a window. So let's go ahead and make it into a block. Right now it's all just lines and uh, rectangles. So let's type B for block. Then I'm going to call this block window. I'm okay with the origin being at 0, 0. I will pick all the blocks, all the entities on screen. I'm going to delete those. I do want to keep scale uniformly and I don't want folks to be able to explode it. I'm going to open it in my block editor. And now we have the block. The first thing I'm going to do is add a few parameters. In this case, I only need two. So I'm going to do a distance parameter here. And I'm also going to do a distance parameter here. Now some important pieces about these parameters. We want to go edit their attributes. So for this one, I'm going to come down here to the bottom. I'm only going to allow for one grip. and actually I want to delete that real quick because I don't like where that grip is. I want that grip to be at the other side. So let's try it this way. I'm only going to allow for one grip and I do want to allow chain actions. Chain actions will allow me to add multiple actions to this one parameter. And I'm going to select my second uh, parameter and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have one grip and I'm going to make it chain my actions. So let's go add some actions now. I'm going to do a stretch action. I'm going to select this parameter. I want it to be based on the second point. I'm going to draw my stretch frame here and then I'm going to select this, 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 this as my objects. And I'm going to hit enter. Let's go test that real quickly. So here we have the block. I should be able to stretch the top of it, and I can, but you'll notice that nothing else moves. That is as intended. I'm going to do another stretch action now. Select that parameter. Since I've selected chain actions, I have this little icon here that looks like a chain link, and I can continue to chain my action. So I'm going to pick that. Now I want it to be based on the second point, so I'm going to type S for second. My stretch frame is now going to be here. And I want to select this, this, and this. Enter. Now here's my second action. I'm going to move this little action window away. We can click on each of these icons and see what entities are selected. So with this one selected, I'm going to come over here into my properties. And down here we have a distance multiplier field in the overrides. I'm going to change that to one half. Now let's go test this block. I pick this. I stretch it. That line will always stay in the middle. Now this is a little silly if it's going to be a window because we may not exactly want that line in half of the window, but at least it gives you an idea of how this works. Let's close the test block. If you're tracking along, you can probably see what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a stretch action to this parameter. I want it to be based on that second point. I'm going to draw my frame around the end. And then I want this, this, and those two lines as part of that. I'm going to quickly test my block, and I really 
do suggest testing blocks just to see if it's working as you've intended. So now the window is stretching horizontally, but these parts aren't moving. Select the parameter. Let's type S for second to make sure it gets that second point. We're going to draw our frame here, and I'm going to pick this. I'm going to do one last stretch. Select that, second point. Draw my frame. Select this as my object. Now, this first stretch action just increases the width of the window. This second stretch action controls the part, controls this right here. So let's come over here. And this distance multiplier is based off the base point. If we look back at our parameter here, it is important to know where the start point is. The start point here is highlighted. It's this little blue X. It's kind of hard to see unless you zoom way in or unless you have the parameter deselected. But there's a little blue X on that side. It's not over here. It doesn't matter as much for the vertical parameter because it was just halfway and halfway from the top is the same as halfway from the bottom, but here it really does matter because we want these to stay in the third in the th in, at a third from there and this one's going to be two-thirds. So we want to make sure we put in the correct value. So I'm going to type 1 over 3 and then the same part for the next one. I'm going to select the next action and for this one this should be two-thirds so I'm going to type 2 over 3 and now let's go test that block. So I've just made those changes. It's a good idea by the way, I haven't been doing it, but it is a good idea to save the block. And so now we can see if we increase the width, the width gets increased. And if we stretch it, those stay at the two-thirds. So once again I modified that by using the distance multiplier and by chaining actions and that was all done by modifying the properties of these parameters.